second year running and injuries to Burley, Gurnan, Davray, Sunderland and Trevor Putney have cut Bobby Ferguson's squad to the bare bones. Kevin O'Callaghan is recalled today. Well, exactly a year ago, Everton were booed off by their own fans, but in 1984, they have played 65 competitive matches and lost just 11. Gary Stevens is still unfit, but Pat Vanden Howe returns after suspension, while in attack, an ankle injury to Andy Gray means that Terry Curran starts his first league match since August. He's in his favourite central striking role, where he scored many goals in his Sheffield Wednesday days. Referee Danny Vickers of Ilford made two long and thorough inspections of this pitch before deciding at about half past one that the game could go ahead. And Ipswich playing from left to right in the first half and Everton have got to defend the tricky goal mouth. It's very hard at the right-hand end. That was McCall and Yallop's header. Zondervan, McCall. Helped on by Bracewell. Osman with the header clear. Sheedy. Osman again. Gates and Mountfield here. O'Callaghan is backing up. Number seven. Here's Yallop. Ipswich with plenty of players forward here. Dazelle. McCall. O'Callaghan, nice turn. Well, O'Callaghan's been given an opportunity today by the injury to Trevor Putney. Player who's sometimes been accused of being inconsistent by his manager. But that was the first sign of life from the Ipswich attack. Peter Reid for Everton. Driving forward for uh, Sharp. And then Vanden Howe. And Curran. Oh, and a mistake in Bracewell. Good save by Cooper. Curran. And away by Osman. It's Rich at sixes and sevens there. But Paul Cooper came to their rescue with a good save from Paul Bracewell. Played short to Curran. Back again to Sheedy. And Mountfield's in there. Oh, dear me. He absolutely missed that, uh, Cooper. And Frank Yallop was on hand to clear. And Sharp's in there with the header. And Cooper's going to come again. Well, his goal bearing something of a charmed life. Because Everton must feel now that on chances made, they should be in front. Bracewell who was foiled by the goalkeeper. Bounces awkward for Bailey. Zondervan right behind him and he fouled him. Everton will be pleased if they can get through this half without conceding because that was regarded as the trickiest end to defend. The trickier end. And so far Ipswich have made very few chances. Uh, an arm in the face by Bailey as he jumped so to a murky background Frank Yallop prepares to take the free kick for Ipswich Butcher's header then Mountfield And still McCall. And now Zondervan. Yallop's cross, Gates is there. Still Gates, and he couldn't lay it on for Brennan. Good defending by uh, Trevor Stephen. Getting behind Ipswich, knowing how much a goal would do for their confidence. 
This is Gates. It's a good turn, but a poor shot. Well played by Brennan. He really saw the gap there. And Brennan for Ipswich. Good save by Southall. Well positioned. And Mark Brennan disappointed. He saw the gap open up and he went straight through it. They couldn't catch him, the defenders. But Southall, an excellent goalkeeper when it comes to getting into those positions to make vital saves. Corner to Ipswich. And Butch is there. And Stephen with the clearance. There was an appeal for handball. Half-hearted one anyway. O'Callaghan. Well battled by Peter Reid. And a good ball too by Vanden Howe down the line there. And very competitive in the midfield as Ipswich sorted out. Here's Granson. Dizelle going up with Mountfield. McCall. Dizelle still in there. And again the goalkeeper taking over with some authority. heel to Sharp can go to Bailey here so a lively first half but the Ipswich goal drought continues they haven't found a way through and indeed Everton early on made two very presentable scoring chances themselves so at half time at Portman Road the score is nil nil Everton who start the second half began this match the highest scorers in the first division with 45 and they also began it with the best away record in the championship having won six drawn one and lost three of their ten games on opposing grounds what a transformation Howard Kendall and Colin Harvey and Mick Heaton and the players effected during 1984 at Goodison Park Sheedy well played by him Still Sheedy, chip right across, and Graham Sharp coming in, and Everton take the lead. Graham Sharp, the scorer, after an hour, well made by Kevin Sheedy. So for Sharp, his 18th goal of the season, and his 17th in the last 23 matches that he's played. A really good strike rate, but Sheedy there, known as a left-footed player, made it on the right-hand side of the penalty area with a good little run and cross, and Sharp coming in, finished it off effectively. So Everton, the side pressing for the championship, take the lead against the team who before this match were firmly in the bottom three. Peter Reid. which is confidence badly in need of a surge before the match it needs it even more now here's O'Callaghan it was a really well made goal by Everton quick thinking in and around the penalty area nice little run and cross by Sheedy and Sharp applying the header well against Butcher Reed's just inside him and there are two waiting and Osman covered Ipswich is stretched at the moment there's no doubt about that they're a goal behind and want to make a substitution the player coming off is Mark Brennan and the player going on is Tommy Parkin another midfield man Curran. Oh, no, Callaghan missed.
misjudge the bounce. And here he is again. Ten minutes left. Ipswich nil, Everton one. O'Callaghan picking it up from the core. And I don't think he was aiming at Gates, but that's where it went. Here's Yallop. McCall back again to Butcher and now Zondervan who finds Butcher once more and Dazelle is there oh that's a great chance missed by Kevin O'Callaghan maybe the best Ipswich chance of the whole afternoon ball was carefully worked wide and when the cross came in Jason Dazell got a good header down and Kevin O'Callaghan had lots of time but put the shot wide out on the left Graham Sharp the goal scorer Sheedy who made it Zondervan cuts it out. Now, Ipswich have got uh, support here and a good strong tackle by Derek Mountfield. And the call couldn't collect. And Reed. This is Vanden Howe. And Curran's ghosted forward here. And Sharp's in there as well, and this is Sharp, and he's turned nicely and finished to get his second, Everton second, and secure surely six points out of six over Christmas for Everton away from home. In the end, it was a simple goal. When the ball came to Sharp, he just in fact edged it past Cooper but it was quite enough and so he takes his personal tally on to 19 for the season and Ipswich I'm afraid face another home defeat and already supporters leaving the ground His finishing this season, Graham Sharp, has been of a very high order for a player who at one time, not so very long ago, was questioned in that very area. There goes Stephen. Everton have done their championship hopes a power of good these last few days it would seem that victory at Sunderland looked a very good result and in company with it this one's going to look even better in some ways in by Yallop got a touch to it Bazell trying to get round sharp and a corner to Ipswich Dozell and Butcher waiting and Dozell gets a touch and Everton again defend quite efficiently and win the match so that Howard Kendall's team prove just how much they mean business in this championship race two away wins in the last four days and the man who clinched this one was Graham Sharp nothing like a striker in form and for Ipswich four home defeats in succession now without scoring 
troubled times perhaps for them, but for Everton, a very healthy Christmas and an indication that they, in 1984, could easily call themselves the team of the year.